हाय गाइस वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो सो आज की वीडियो बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग होने वाली है आपके लिए अगर आप फर्स्ट टाइम होम बायर होने वाले हैं तो बिकॉज आज हमारे साथ हैं ऑटवा बेस्ड रियल्टर जितेंद्र सैनी और ये हेल्प करेंगे आपके इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आंसर करने के लिए हेलो जतेंद्र हेलो गुड गुड थैंक यू नवरीत फॉर गिविंग मी अ चांस टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ टू योर व्यूअर्स हेयर वी आर इन ऑरवा ऑरवा इज कैपिटल ऑफ कैनेडा एंड आई हैव बीन इन रियल स्टेट ऑलमोस्ट फोर ईयर्स हेयर एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ माई लिस्टिंग्स विच वी गन बी टेकिंग अर टूअर टूडे दिस इज अ सिंगल डिटैच हाउस थ्री बेडरूम्स थ्री वाशरूम विद अ फिनिश बेसमेंट इट्स ब्रांड न्यू फिनिश बेसमेंट नो मन हैव एवर लिवड इन द हाउस सो लेट्स कैर अ टूअर तो बायर्स मार्केट बेस्ट है नंबर वन आपके पास इन्वेंटोरी बहुत है आप अपने चॉइसेस पे काम कर सकते हो देन आफ्टर दैट इन्वेंटोरी को आप यूज करके आप नेगोशिएट कर सकते हो प्राइस जो पहले होता था जैसे बीटिंग होती थी यू यू डिट नो वर यूर वॉकिंग इन टू नाउ यू हैव दैट चॉइस टू मेक आई थिंक दैट्स वन ऑफ द बेस्ट बेस्ट पॉसिबल रीजन दैट यू शुड बी बाइंग हाउस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैव सो मच इन देर माइंड जब वो घर लेते हैं कि हमें घर लेना चाहिए घर में क्या होगा हमें घर के बारे में कुछ पता नहीं है नया लेना चाहिए पुराना लेना चाहिए फॉर दैम दे शुड एक्सप्लोर राइट नाउ दे हैव द अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट दे कैन लुक एट एवरी ऑप्शन पॉसिबल एंड देन दे मेक अप देर माइंड फॉर डू टू डू दैट फॉर आई सजेस्ट ऑलवेज हैव एन एजेंट ऑब्वियसली इट डजेंट कॉस्ट यू हैव एन एजेंट इन कैनेडा बायर एजेंट है If you are in here, if they are representing you as a buyer, you don't have to pay them. That's they are subsidized by the seller. So right now we're standing in the kitchen of the house. So new built homes, anywhere after 2010, uh, open concept uh, came into trend. So this house really shows the open concept. You have a grand gourmet kitchen with a grand island. Uh, you also have a, a coffee bar or a pantry set up here. Then you also have fireplace for living room and a dining area. So when these all things came, it came in a trend twenty ten. So any where any homes that twenty ten ke pehle built hai, those homes are mostly closed. So they have a closed kitchen. Uh, you know they have a separate living dining area. So stuff like that. So this house. Uh, like I said, brand new. No one lived in the house. They spent quite a bit of money on the upgrades. Uh, you have hardwood floors that flows through the kitchen. Uh, you then you also have uh, three bedrooms upstairs. You have a loft, which is an addition. You can use it as an office. You can have a study room. Then you also have a laundry on the second floor. That also adds a lot of value uh, and lots of convenient. You know, when you're in the house, you don't have to go downstairs. You don't have to go to the basement. तो ये बहुत ज्यादा कॉमन क्वेश्चन हर एक फर्स्ट टाइम होम बायर के मन में आता है कि जब वो घर पहली बार देखने जाए कौन सी चीजें हैं वो घर में जरूर देखना कंसीडर करें कि ये तो होनी ही चाहिए तो उन चीजों में क्या आएगा सो थिंग्स टू लुक इन द हाउस आई थिंक मोस्टली लोकेशन लोकेशन कैन बी यू माइट वांट अ हाउस क्लोज टू योर वर्क यू माइट वांट अ हाउस क्लोज टू अ स्कूल यू माइट वांट अ हाउस क्लोज टू ट्रांजिट अगर आप बस ले रहे हो यू आर वांट अ बी स्टेप्स अवे फ्रॉम ट्रांजिट सो दैट is the most important question and after that you uh, you, sh- you decide on you know how much how many bedrooms you need 
you know, what kind of layout you're looking for, uh, what kind of upgrades you want in the house. And that, and then at the end of the day, it's always your budget as well. Right. You know, how much can you pay for the house? Some people, like, you, you can go for a new build, sometimes you don't have the budget right. to go for a new build, you go for older homes. Right. Like new builds, basically the only difference in new builds is that in new build, you get more interior space, uh, less uh, lot size. Okay. Uh, with old wheels, you get less in the year space Anji. mostly, Anji. and then but lots are bigger. Okay. Uh, what what it is now than it used to be. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So I think the first and most important step which you should consider is getting a pre-approval. Uh, talk to your bank. If you talk to your bank, you talk to your broker. And then sit with them and see how much you can take a house. How much you can approve for. Look at your finances. You know, they can properly guide you. Okay. Because if you want to put a down payment for the house, it has to meet a specific criteria. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the banks, unke liye 90 days old hona chahiye. Um, brokers, the only person or the uh, the bank is the only person who will tell you that itni down payment hume chahiye. Uh, or itne tak mortgage le sakte ho. Because okay. that's what's gonna decide what you can buy. Okay. And then after that, talk to an agent. Okay. Find an agent who can actually serve you. For my clients, I also have a first-time home buyer guides, okay. which we have prepared from a recent experience. First-time home buyers have the most questions. Right. You know, so many. I wrote everything down. You know, I sat uh, uh, with my broker and we thought of making a guide. Because once we meet them, if they have any questions, we can answer them as well as provide them a guide. Okay. Uh, you can also, my guide is also available on my Instagram page in my bio. Uh, you can also download from there. Jitinder ke Instagram page ke baare mein, mein aapko description mein bata dungi. Thank you. So when someone decides to work with you or any other agent, yeah. process kaise start hooga aur uske baad process mein kya kya hooga, aap uske baare mein kuch bata sakte ho viewers ko. So the first most thing after you get a pay approval, then you know how much you can afford. Now we work on having you uh, uh, get committed to that agent so that it can work for you. Commitment pretty much means and there are a few forms involved okay. in this process. Okay. Couple of them, so, uh, main form we have buyer representation agreement. To both is standard I'm telling you, uh, you have to sign that with an agent if you want to represent the reality but that's the actual process to start with. Okay. So what's in by representation agreement? It has uh, dates, like to what? So every agreement have dates. Uh, that'll tell you, okay, is then se leke, is then tak we're working with you to find us a house. So the commitment clause ke baare mein aapne baat ki, usme mera yeh question hai ki, jo dates ke bich mein commitment hoti hai, uska mtlab hi hai ki, agar buyer ne wo commitment kiya, to aap usse buyer ko bhar lehna hi padega after all the doing and everything. I'm glad you asked that question. So pretty much uh, what that means is, ke you as a buyer, you're giving that agent a chance uh, to commit for that period, okay. uh, to show you houses and then secure a deal for them. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean that okay, you are committed to buy a house okay. in that period. Okay. You might not like a house, uh, what the agent is showing you, yeah. you know, in that period. You might not be happy with your service, right. you know. Uh, so that's what there is there is something particular also in that clause which is called a holdover period so what holdover period means usually a month or two months what that means is if you see a house with that agent 
within that three month or six month period and you tell that agent ki mere ko ye ghar nahi lena mere ko pasand nahi hai uh, and you are waiting for a time to go over and then after that time you go with another agent and buy the same house okay now the cold over period comes into effect so now the first thing it, it tells that you were is using the agent right you know so that's when i talked about commitment okay so now the agent can come back to you that okay you bought this house i showed you the house you bought this house with a different agent right now you owe me commission okay Got yes take so once you sign that form the next step is to renew homes Uh, you look at the homes where you look uh, you know we tour the homes uh, when we touring the homes uh, most of the, most of the time uh, it's getting a taste ki aapko kya cheez pasand hai ha we can be looking at old homes new okay. homes you know then you, after that once you see the homes then is the time to put an offer so offer has the offer is a very standardized form in interior as well form 100 agreement of purchase and sale So what the agreement of purchase and sale has is it has a date, it has the name of the buyers and sellers, it has the price of the house, it has the the lot size of the house, uh, it has deposit, uh, what deposit you are putting down, and who is it going to, and then it has a closing date. So now closing date is when you actually get the keys for the house. Okay. उस दिन आप घर के मालिक बन जाते हैं. ठीक. Pretty much. Okay. So that जैसे इंडिया में बोलते हैं कि registry होगी. उस दिन आपकी रजिस्ट्री होगी उससे पहले सिर्फ बयान आ जाता है सो ऑफर इज कंपेयर टू बयान एंड द क्लोजिंग डेट इज इज कंपेयर टू रजिस्ट्री एंड दैट्स व्हेन यू गेट द कीज फॉर द हाउस लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद द टूर लेट मी शो यू अप स्टेयर्स व्हाट वी गॉट फॉर यू गाइस यू हैव कारपेट स्टेयर्स दे हैव अ स्पेशल अंडरपैड अंडर देम टू फील यू टू फील मेक योर फीट फील सॉफ्ट यू हैव मेपल रेलिंग्स a metal spindles in the house very a grand opening to move furniture uh, so the new code 2022 uh, what a city has decided is to give you broader uh, wider stairs taake you are is easy for you to you know move your furniture up and down that's something new which is to look in a house uh, when you're buying uh, which is a new construction or reconstruction जब घर की शोइंग हो रही है तो ऐसी कौन सी चीजें या कौन से रेड फ्लैग्स हैं जो सब फर्स्ट टाइम मैं इसको कंसीडर करने चाहिए और ये सब चीजें इंस्पेक्शन में भी शायद पता चल सकती हैं तो इंस्पेक्शन हाउ तो मीन वाइल उतने में यू कैन एक्चुअली लुक एट मोस्ट ऑफ द रेड फ्लैग्स यू कैन वॉक इन टू द हाउस मोस्टली यू लुक एट द ले आउट के ले आउट कैसा है बेडरूम साइज कैसे हैं टू दर वर्क फॉर यू अपडेट्स क्या हैं घर में किस चीज की आपको जरूरत है यू टेक अ नोट ऑफ दैट घर में क्या इंक्लूडेड है लाइट फिक्सर्स हो गए ब्लाइंड्स हो गए ड्रेप्स हो गए जो चीजें आपको चाहिए घर में वो मौजूद है कि नहीं so when i was talking about conditions that's when the home inspection clause comes in so for home inspection kam se kam it takes about 2 and a half, half hours to 3 hours to do home inspection okay. for their home inspection the um, particular inspectors hain uh, which are recognized to do that job jiske liye unke paas license hota hai you know they have the training they perform their home inspection now how important is a home inspection uh, for first time home buyers i think it is really important uh, especially um in a older house um you have to look for a lot of stuff like how old is your furnace uh, how old is your roof because that's a major expense how old are your windows oh we bought major expense hai uh, windows ko change karna is there any leakage in the house prior leakage it's been fixed um uh, is there anything uh, is there any uh, damage to the foundation which is a very major expense to fix uh, any uh, foundation cracks or leaks stuff like that home inspector uh, performs various test aur wo dekhte hain ki is ghar mein in cheezon ki kami hai ki nahi uh, any red flags they look they uh, they, they give you all that uh, information and then after that you decide ki hame ye ghar lena chahiye ki nahi lena chahiye and that's what the home inspection condition is important uh, especially in this market right now when you have so much inventory 
you know you should have a peace of mind uh, spending mm-hmm. every penny uh, on a house ke what you're walking into right let's continue the tour for the second floor this is the the one of the the three bedrooms of the house this is the hallway and then this is your second bedroom so mostly in a house one of the bedrooms is going to be the smallest bedroom the uh, reason for that is that uh, upstairs uh, you have to manage the area and uh, most of the people they use, they don't use all the bedrooms as bedrooms so don't find it strange ki ha ke baaki kamre bade kyun hain aur ye kamra chhota kyun hai because they have to adjust the layout they have to adjust the staircase they have to adjust the hallway so one bedroom hamesha chhota hota hai Uh, most important feature जो आपको देखना चाहिए घर में अदर देन बेडरूम साइज यू हैव अ सेकेंड वॉशरूम विच इज कॉल्ड अ मेन वॉशरूम मेन बात मोस्टली क्या होता है कि यू हैव अ टब टॉयलेट एंड वैनिटी इट्स वेरी स्टैंडर्ड टू लुक इन द मेन बात दिस हाउस फीचर हैज यू हैव अ लॉफ्ट सेकेंड फ्लोर पर आपके पास लॉफ्ट भी है विच यू कैन यूज ऑफिस स्पेस विच मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल लाइक दीज डेज यू नो वन कपल्स आर वर्किंग फ्राम होम you know they want an office space separate from their rooms you also have a convenient laundry on the second floor um, there also really helps you have to go to the second floor uh, to do your laundry uh, that also adds a, a lot of uh, convenient flexibility you also have a, a linen closet which is pretty standard in every house you look for uh, that stuff the the most important feature of the house is always the master bedroom uh, most of the so newer builds uh, you'll find master bedrooms uh, they have their own ensuite uh, big windows uh, these days there are triple glazed windows energy star we just look for you know walk in closet uh, which is uh, you know very convenient as well so ensuite uh, the features to uh, the stuff to look in ensuite is ke uh, you have a tub you also have a stand in shower and you also have a two piece uh, vanity so that's uh, something really important uh, when you're looking for a house that you know if you're sharing obviously you're going to share your master bedroom and at least have two sinks you know especially in the new homes which is available these days you know you can that's an add on feature to something to look for right theek hai aur क्योंकि हमने पूरे प्रोसेस की बात कर ली अब हम बात करते हैं कि जब घर क्लोज होने वाला होता है तो क्लोजिंग कॉस्ट्स क्या होती हैं और क्या क्या क्लोजिंग कॉस्ट एसोसिएटेड हैं सो द क्लोजिंग कॉस्ट यूजुअली इंक्लूड लॉयर फीस जो लॉयर की फीस होती है रजिस्ट्री करने के लिए घर को क्लोज करने के लिए दे ऑल्सो इंक्लूड लैंड ट्रांसफर टैक्स व्हिच वेरीज बाय एरिया सो अगर ऑटवा में है तो यू हैव गोना हैव टू पे डिफरेंट लैंड ट्रांसफर टैक्स अगर ट्रांटो में है तो थोड़ा ज्यादा होगा लैंड ट्रांसफर टैक्स व्हिच इज स्टैंडर्ड Uh, to close a house uh, when i talk about lawyer fees kuch lawyers hain um, they they charge you title search fees on top of their fees kuch lawyers and they include that so now what title search is uh, when they do the title search that's the most important part in your purchase okay wo kya karte hain they go to the root of the house mm-hmm. root of the lot or the land when it was built uh, title search protects you from any claims or uh, you know any cases which is registered against the the seller or the owner of the land so that protects you that which is really important thing you should never skip a title search right. when purchasing your house okay all right or ye to ho gayi closing cost but close ho gaya ghar sab kuch ho gaya ab jo banda hai wo apne ghar mein move ho gaya to move hone ke baad house ownership ke sath kya kya costs involved hain so Um, you know, first of all, congratulations. जब आप कर ले रहे हो, move हो रहे हो. It's a very exciting process. क्या पा रहे हो ना? The cost mostly, uh, as you know, you know, in Canada is cold. You know, very extreme weather here. So most of the, I think the most expensive cost is the heating your house. So then you have your Enbridge gas bill, which you have to pay. Uh, you also have your water bills, which goes to the city. You also pay property tax on the house, uh, which goes to the city. and then you also have your hydro bills you know which goes to either uh, uh, hydro or or hydro one specifically in auto to ek approximate number agar dena ho to wo kya hoga so approximate number uh, vary karta hai you know if you living in a town house mein reh rahe ho ya aap detached ghar mein reh rahe ho kitne bade ghar mein reh rahe ho jitna bada ghar hoga usi utilities utni zyada hongi 
uh, approximate I can tell you that's a house like this which is 2200 square feet uh, with a finished basement you're looking and bridge anywhere right now with a carbon tax of 180 to 190 bucks a month uh, and then you're looking at hydro uh, which is going to be uh, somewhere around 60 bucks a month and then water bills depending on how much usage you have somewhere around 60 70 bucks a month property tax varies by city in Ottawa you can expect uh, for this house property tax uh, should be around 300 bucks a month okay so this was the tour of the house uh, this house is listed at 799.990 which is a very competitive price for a single detached house uh, which is brand new no one lived in the house with these many upgrades and we're located in the center of Barhaven. Uh, Barhaven is pretty much the most popular uh, area of Ottawa. And uh, I think if you're in the market to buy a house, you should definitely consider, you know, Barhaven area. Um, and uh, definitely consider this house. If you have any question, you can reach out to me anytime I'm available on my cell phone. बिल्कुल और मैं ये पहले अपने व्यूअर्स को बताना भूल ही गई कि हमने अपना फर्स्ट टाइम होम भी जतिंदर सैनी के थ्रू ही लिया ये भी हमारी रियलिटी थी और इन्होंने हमें बहुत अच्छा गाइड किया है सो आपकी सारी डिटेल्स जो है मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल दूंगी सो इफ यू वांट टू रीच आउट टू जतिंदर सैनी यू कैन रीच आउट टू हिम इजीली ऑल द लिंक्स एंड द डिटेल्स विल बी इन डिस्क्रिप्शन आई होप दिस वीडियो वाज इंफॉर्मेटिव एंड हेल्प यू इन मेनी वेज इफ यू थिंक योर फ्रेंड्स एंड रिलेटिव्स आर प्लानिंग टू बाय अ न्यू होम यू कैन आल्सो शेयर द लिंक विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड डू लाइक द वीडियो डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय YouTube चैनल एंड आई विल सी यू लेटर बाय गाइस